Worst breakup line you have ever heard. Ah. Uh, <laughs> you guys only started to make me sweat. They think I like to show off. I wasn't really ready. I was like, what? Oh. <laughs> That's your answer? <laughs> Get me pregnant. Hi, I'm Jasmine with Bria, Michelle, Jessica, and Gia, and you are watching G Talk. He is a Filipino actor, model, entrepreneur, athlete, and a Philippine Navy reservist. He's a registered nurse with a master's degree. He won gold medal in the Manila International Open 2017 International Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Federation Championship. This Baguio Fuji native rose to fame after participating in the reality talent competition Starstruck in 2009. Please welcome the handsome Rocco Nasino. Woo! Hi guys! Oh my, that's that's um. You guys did your research, huh? <laughs> of course. We are Hi guys. So happy to have you on G Talk, but we want to get to know you more through our G Talk's two minute alphabet fast talk. All right, I'm down with that. In this game, we mention words, phrases, and people in alphabetical order, and you respond with only a, one word that comes to mind. One word. You're gonna put me on the spotlight, okay? Yeah. Yep. So this is gonna be six questions <laughs> under two minutes. Are you ready? Ready. A. Assumptions about you. Boastful. What's in your bucket list? Machu Picchu. C. Most beautiful local celebrity. Marian Rivera. A dangerous encounter. Motorcycle. E. Whose conversation you'd love to eavesdrop on? President. <laughs> F, a favorite who got line with acting. Technical Sergeant Diego Ramos. Tatalikura mo ba ako bago ka na walang sasaludo? Thoughts on ghosting. Immature. Spend a week in the wild or one night in a haunted house? In the wild. Inis ako kapag blink. Late. J, be poor and work at a job you love or rich and work at a job you hate? Be poor. Okay. Worst breakup line you have ever heard. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> M. A celebrity you are mistaken for. Enzo Pineda. N. A childhood nickname you didn't like. Eric. O. Your childhood obsession. Yo yo's. P. To fly or read people's minds. Ah, definitely. To fly. Q, one question you would ask if you saw an alien. How? R, your biggest regret. None. S, a go to hairbrush song. Finesse, Bruno Mars. Great song. T, would you rather freeze time or time travel? Time travel. U, most unusual fan request. <laughs> Get me pregnant. <gasps> Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. V, would you rather lose your vision or your hearing? Hearing. W, strongest person or fastest person in the world? Fastest person. X, wake up to your ex or next to a baby tiger? Baby tiger, please. <laughs> okay. Why? Note to your younger self. Stay grounded. Keep hustling. Z, how do you friend zone someone? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> you guys are starting to make me sweat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you made it. Let the go. Let the go. Yeah, you, you made it to Got the it end Z. of the game. You did it. Good job. I did it. How did you Was find the game? Minutes? It was fun, right? Stressful, yes, stressful. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Okay. Well, now we're going to take the time to dissect some of your answers, okay? Let's do it. Um, all right. So why would you rather wake up next to a baby tiger? Was your ex that bad? Uh, because I, <laughs> if I did wake up next to my ex, that baby tiger would be my wife. <laughs> <laughs> what was your reaction on your um, unusual friend request? 
Oh man, I just I just laughed. This was in person. It was during a mall show. I was pulled to the side and then kissed me on the cheek and said, "Please get me pregnant. I want to have a kid with you. It's okay if you don't pay for anything. Just have a kid with me." Oh my god. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Then, uh, then, oh, the, then the guards. Then the guards. Actually, the guards also heard that, and then they started to laugh, and then they just pulled me outside. <laughs> they just started laughing about it on the way home. It was a funny experience. I mean, a very, very unusual request, but funny. <laughs> Made my day, though. Your hairbrush song was finessed by Bruno Mars. Can you sing maybe oh, yeah. a little snippet of it for us? Oh, no. Please no. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to grab your hairbrush? I actually spend more time fixing my hair than doing anything else. You know, even when I have my makeup done uh, for my shows, um, I would just get a makeup artist, but not a hairstylist because I'd I'd rather do my hair myself. I feel more comfortable with that. Having that uh, song uh, in the morning just gets me, you know, all jittery and uh, fueled up for the morning. But I, I don't know how to sing that song. <laughs> Do um like girls come up to you and say your proposal was so nice you made us cry because you actually did that to us? So Aww. do you get <laughs> there are a lot of um girlfriends who would tag their boyfriends oh. <laughs> to use it as a peg. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, I I wasn't expecting that. I just wanted a simple proposal. When when you just put your faith in him, I wasn't really ready. I just went with it with my gut feel. I felt I was ready. I just went ahead and bought the ring. Had one made, only to find out that the ring that I made, that pear shaped illusion ring that I made, was actually her dream ring, which she uh, took a photo of five years ago, way before we met. <gasps> Uh, so I don't know if you guys would hear it uh, in the video on our YouTube channel, but when I opened the, the case and she said, "Oh, it's the ring," I was like, "What? <laughs> That's your answer?" <laughs> and, and then she explained to me after. Then we started crying again, and then well, yeah, it, it's funny how everything can fall into place. You just trust in your in yourself and in God's timing. The place where I proposed to her was actually. Here, just here in the village, it's um, it's an undeveloped play, uh, area, but it's at the top of the village, so we can see the whole of Manila. Since there wasn't any electricity there, I had to get a whole genset, <laughs> some lights, a grass cutter. Yeah, it was it was yeah. successful. Woo! And it didn't rain. No, my goodness. Okay, wait. So you said. You would rather spend a week in the wild instead of one night in a haunted house. Why? Well, here in my house, it's just me and my wife here and our dogs. And I I, I don't know why, but I, I have this habit of just scaring myself, you know. <laughs> Thinking, <laughs> looking at corners, already imagining someone standing uh, in the dark. You know, so I, I, I'm, I'm very afraid of ghosts, if there are ghosts. But if I was in the wild, you know, thank you. Thanks to all my training with the special forces, with the Navy, with the Navy SEALs, I can maybe, maybe survive yeah. with uh, the skill set that they have taught me. Not maybe. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> or just run if I get scared. <laughs> so you're, or climb up a tree. Your childhood nickname, you call, you were called Eric? Why? I hated it. I don't know why. Because my full name is, um, it's actually not Rocco. Rocco I got from the reality show, Starstruck. My my real name is Enrico. Enrico. You have to roll the R. Enrico. My uh, elementary, I was called Enrico. At home, I'm called Nico. N-I-C-O. Nico. And then for some reason during college, I was... People just started calling me Eric, and I hated it. You had a dangerous encounter with a motorcycle. Were you on the motorcycle? I was on the motorcycle. Nice. I borrowed that motorcycle from a friend. He lent me his motorcycle. It's a very strong one. It's a 900cc Kawasaki. And I wasn't too familiar with the strong bike, uh, motorbikes. If you are familiar with Tanay, Tanay is it's like the mountain part of the east side of Manila. So there are lots of uh, hills and zigzags and I was using his motorbike. They were going really fast. I tried to keep up and I kind of um, did an overshoot. That means I got, when I turned, I didn't really calculate it properly. And then the car came out from the turn and 
because I panicked, I stepped on the brakes. The rear end just went, you know, went like a fishtail. And if I went off that road, I would fall down the mountain. It was that dangerous. So good thing that motorcycle had this, you know, technology to, you know, pull yourself up when it feels that you're going down. It did pull me up, stop, went to the side of the road. I started crying after. <laughs> I started crying and then, you know, it was just a really close call. So I plan to, um, you know, go to a motorcycle school, take up some courses on basic motorcycle riding safety classes. That should be you know, uh, the case for everyone before getting a high-powered motorcycle. With your bucket list, you said you want to go to um, Machu Picchu, right? Machu Picchu, yes. Peru. Are they with, like with you? Melissa? It was supposed to be with Melissa. Uh, I was really, I was. We were actually planning it. I was planning to propose in Machu Picchu, but then Aww. the pandemic wow. happened. Yeah, I was I was saving up for that, but I, I realized it's it's not re it's not actually easy to get there. Take a plane to Peru and then another bu bus ride. I think half a day hike or maybe a day's hike. Are there a lot of alien sighting over there in Machu Picchu? That's wow. why I want to go there. Uh, maybe. <laughs> At least once in my life to get there, you know. And you can ask Maybe. the question, how? I wanted to ask you how. how. Yes, exactly. How? How did you guys? Uh, how do you guys stay undiscovered this whole time? Assumptions about you. Okay, assumptions about me. boastful. Yeah, I would get that a lot. Um, Why? I don't know. I just. You know, I would talk to people who would soon become my friends, and they would tell me like, I I could uh, I could never really start a conversation with you, Rocco, because they think I like to show off. But I really have nothing to show off. <laughs> I, I'm very lucky to have people around me, like my family, my wife, so, uh, good friends that really pull me down, and you know, not allow my head to just fly up and have a big head. So yeah. I try to you know, lead a simple life teach the younger ones you know to be contented with what we have you know to aspire but not expect in my own little way i try to inspire but not crossing the line there are some times there are some times that i you know i i tend to get out of myself and then become someone i don't want to but yeah i'm, I'm lucky i have a good family to you know keep my feet on the ground well, why did you take up nursing by the way i wanted to become a doctor um, um, that was supposed to be my stepping stone for uh, medicine. I wanted to incorporate um, the care of nurses into a doctor's practice for his patients. So the initial plan was to become a pediatrician because oh. I, I, I love kids. And whenever I was, this was, this was during my nursing course, uh, I would always want to be assigned to the uh, delivery ward. Because here, usually when, 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 when the woman gets, uh, when a woman gives birth, baby goes to one, yeah. it's, let's say it's a basket yeah, with, the, with, with, the, with the light, right? So here with the public hospitals, it's usually it's one, one basket to one baby. Here it would be one basket to seven babies because we don't have enough equipment, right? So I would stay there, put on the incubating light and then spread it amongst the kids, the baby. So that, that gave me the motivation to become a pediatrician or a chiropractor but then starstruck happened the reality show happened and yeah you are. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm an actor. very inspiring bria here is um uh studying nursing mm -hmm. yeah. go for it fellow nurse <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh once once you're done with it easy squeezy all right. Well, thank you so much, Rocco, for being on G Talk and opening up your heart to us. Of really course, enjoyed. anytime. Yeah. And uh, you thank you guys for having me here. Uh, it's it's so nice to meet all of you. And uh, I hope we can do this again soon. Next yeah. time with dancing, singing, karaoke. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we leave you with this quote by Napoleon Hill: "Whatever the mind of a man can conceive and believe, it can achieve." Thanks for watching. <laughs>